been a while. Let's have a look see what's been going on. Right, so it's what's well, been about a week. So um what's been going on? I would have made one sooner but um had a bit of a disaster and uh it's really upset me. Let me show you what's been going on. Yes, tomato plants, where are they? We have blight. Yeah, in a greenhouse. Oh, it's unbelievable. We sort of noticed it Saturday, something went right uh, with the tomato plants. We had a few tomatoes going a bit rotten and the leaves started to curl up and go brown and horrible. And uh, Monday, the, the, the plants themselves have just gone start going black. So uh, we harvested what we could and then uh, and just cleared it all out, got it out. Uh, and we're sort of left with this one here, which didn't seem to have got touched in the pot. Um, which is rather annoying. I mean, I don't, I'm hoping. Uh, I think he's looking okay. So this one may be okay, but the others were. We've, we've bunged them there. I'm gonna burn them or dispose of them later on. But as, as you can see, this is what the tomatoes were like on the, the planet itself. And everything was just going black, big black parts. I mean, that's just a tiny bit, but some of them were absolutely rotten. You can see with the leaves. So, um, I don't know. On that, got some good news. I don't know what happened there. I actually turned the camera off. So we'll pick up where I left off. But, this is now ours. Went in, um, signed for it today. Paid the deposit. So, uh, from them bushes, all the way down to the, the other bushes. So we've got a pear tree, a greenhouse. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I didn't build that. And um, plum trees, plum. And there's another one around here, is, it? is that the only, that's the only plum, yeah, plum. And I don't know what we've got, a cherry? So, no, that's not cherry. It's not cherry. Who am I kidding? So, um, coming down with the strimmer and uh, just going to cut everything back, see where and what we've got, and then take it from there and then start clearing out and uh, having a blank canvas. But you can see that obviously there was remnants of a couple of beds here, uh, and then everything else is just massively overgrown. So, um, yeah, I think I've got my work cut out. Oh, we've got a wheelie bin. Oh, some fence panels there. Lots of wood. So what I'll probably do is um, start clearing stacking all the wood up to one side that's reusable you want me can you see me uh stacking the wood up to uh to one side that's usable rubbish in another corner completely blitz it and then uh start digging beds out so um that's what the new, new episode's going to be about because as you know i've been uh been a little bit um stagnant on our plot Obviously, it's gone uh, not knowing what to grow, so we've um, covered a lot of the uh, lot of the stuff up. And uh, I'll just take you up there, but I'll just show you our plot here. This one. So you can see, it's quite a quite a big plot. It's um, ten rods apparently. So from here, right the way up to the uh, the brambles at the top. 
so we've got quite a bit so this one will as I mentioned in a previous video I'm gonna cut out the brambles at the top so we've got access to our other allotment so we have like an L-shaped one which would be nice which would be nice and then we come around into ours and there's Kimmy eating what are you eating? You see what she's like? <laughs> what have you to knock me out? <laughs> she loves me really. So um yeah, like I said, I've got to just got to tidy up again in here. Like I said, we've got the grass to do. Uh pears are all ripe now. Apples we've been eating, which are lovely. Carrots are coming on. Let this well. I don't know. We've we've had a bit. I don't. I don't like it. I don't. We we'll stick. We we'll stick to our iceberg. Um, pumpkin is almost well. He's there, isn't he? Look at this. See the pumpkin. The courgette plant that Kim pulled out on the previous video, I believe it was, and then decided to replant. As you can see, is dead. She killed it. Um, chilies are coming on now. Getting some ripe red ones. Just need a little bit more sun. In Brussels, Brussels. On the end. I mean, why, why, do Brussels sprout plants attract, a, attract flies. flies like that? It's just we know Brussels hustle. They've gone about Brussels smelly and but why, are the, <laughs> why are the flies? Why the flies? What's going on? You pig. So, a new addition to the um, the allotment family is the is the strimmer, which I will never use. Um, and it probably because you'd kill me. <coughs> no, kill myself. So we're going to give that a go later on. Uh, so all should be good. So um, safety first. Let's get geared up and uh, have a wander down, and then um, start strimming and see what we got. So I'll, I'll, I'll catch you in a minute. So what we probably about. Two, two, three hours, Kim? Two, three hours in, apparently our knickers are falling down. So, what have we been doing, Kim? Making an entrance to another world. You heard it right there. We're making an entrance to another world. And do you want to see that entrance to another world? So, here we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so what you can see is once upon a time this was because it's, it's all polythened up here uh, and the blackberry bushes have gone right back to here so you can see here there's another bed and we've just come across a wheelie bin right in the corner over there loads of wood here and other structures there seems to oh, we just put my glove back on sorry other structures as well you see we've got we got all wood wood in here uh something there and i know in the corner there there is a um a great big uh bin top you know where you chuck all your uh you chuck all your waste so the plan is to clear all this get rid of it all um I might have start here and we're just just uncovering everything. I mean look at all look at all this. More wood. Uh, you can see obviously where they've had plots. Um, so which being the plot do we think? Uh, the uh, the growing patch. So I think this is. So this one, this may have been a path this one yeah this one and then they probably go up another couple that way uh, right look at it look at the state of this unbelievable the shed 
which is um <laughs> oh god oh what is this oh dear idea how how are they allowed to get in this state I do or not know Well, I'm the right man for the job, or will I be? I think I'm ready to give up already. No. So, there's a good shot of um, into our allotment. So it looks, should look quite nice. So it's going to be it's going to be a few months, and then uh, clearing all the way back down to here. Uh, probably leave that blackberry bush up at the end, and then the greenhouse which I will probably move uh, but this was a a big bin of water and I just um, left the tap running empty it out because I'm just going to have to clear everything out of here probably dismantle the greenhouse and then um, relocate it somewhere else uh, whether I might put it up somewhere in the patch at R1 or put this in the corner somewhere put it together and then we'll see because there, there is bits of glass laying around uh, as we've got here so we see how much glass we got missing and then um, we're going to get some cut and get it replaced but nothing's nothing's level I mean if this was a path I mean it's just so dangerous even here Trip wire, got some trip wiring. Yeah. So what we've done at the minute is um, made our plot a mess by um, grabbing all the rubbish and chucking it over. But I'll pull it back later on once we've got this corner opened up. And then I intend to keep all the rubbish in the corner, uh, separate the wood from the good. And the bad put it in the two poles and then we'll have a rubbish pile and then uh, obviously we'll be um, bringing the old car up so we'll be able to bring the car up to here which is good so we can get the car right here and uh, get all the rubbish in and start start tipping uh, but the plan is also to get all this fence out and open this right the way up and then think about putting in a nicer fence later on. But I, I don't know what this is. Look at this, what I've come across. It, it can't be the water pipe because we've got water, which is just just there, just the other side of them and brambles. But he's on a blue pipe. But I don't know what that is. I mean, that is solid. I don't fancy cutting through it, just in case. But what is it? Junky. Looks like we've got some antique tools as well. And what is that? Is that a plough? It's a plough, isn't it? <laughs> well, we're going to have a... Um... Oh, yeah, look at this. The SGS. Um, it's really good. It's, uh, I've got the, the, the brush cutter on in a minute and it went through them brambles, no problem. Uh, so it's a 50cc strimmer, SGS. I'm not advertising for them. And uh, £69 delivered. We are, I ordered it yesterday, yesterday at half past four. And it was here today at quarter past one, wasn't it? Quarter past one, so that's brilliant. And it comes with um, all the bits and bobs, the toolkit, and, and that's brilliant. £69. You'll pay £50 for a second hand one. So, what's got a 60 day uh, no quibble warranty on it, uh, return, and a two year warranty for £69. You can't go wrong, can you? So, uh, there you go, that's my plug for SGS. If you're watching, I'm going to send it for free.
or not. Right, brew time, and um, I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, well, yeah, plastic, plastic yeah, bag. Hanging up. Here we go. Right, so we'll call it a day. I'm, I'm hungry. So hungry. She's got to go and make it for me. And yeah, what are we having for tea? What are we having for tea? Bowl of cereal. Bowl of cereal. Tyke. Tyke. I can carry that. Right, so. Um, see you later on. And when, uh, probably tomorrow I'll be up here cracking on, so I'm um, a little bit then. So um, until then, see you later. Thank you.